Welcome to all photovoltaic friends. Welcome to your channel. Today we bring you a special episode that will enlighten your knowledge about solar energy. Are you ready to get down to work? Because we are going to delve into the exciting and brilliant world of microinverters with APES YSTEM and its DS3 series models. We are going to guide you step by step through the installation of these microinverters and we will do it in the most entertaining and entertaining way you can imagine. So get your tools ready, make yourselves comfortable and join us in this energy adventure. The DS3 series of microinverters represents the new generation of single-phase dual microinverters developed by the APES YSTEM brand. And remember that you can find this in our online shop at lrmsenphotovoltaico.com and that you have discounts, promotions and exclusive news only for subscribers to our channel. With a new type structure, they symbolize safety, efficiency and intelligence, achieving a notable increase in power density and an improvement in current. Before installing the product, make sure that all accessories are present. Also confirm that the local grid voltage aligns with the voltage level on the APES YSTEM microinverter label. Prepare all necessary tools for installation. In addition, consult the APES YSTEM product datasheet and your local grid specifications to determine circuit breaker selection, as well as the maximum number of microinverters that can be connected to each string. Use your design diagram to establish the pre-installation position of the microinverters. The next step is to install the AC bus cable. First, pre-position the AC bus cable in a location suitable for connecting the microinverter and connect one end of the bus cable to the AC extension cable via a DCA connector or junction box. Connect the AC branch extension cables from all branches to the main service cabinet or a combiner box first and then to the main service panel. Before installing the microinverters, first mark their locations within the installation. When handling, avoid lifting the microinverters by the AC cable and do not install the microinverter or AC DC connectors in areas exposed to direct sunlight, rain or snow, including spaces between modules. Ensure that there is sufficient ventilation and space for heat dissipation around the microinverter. When performing grounding operations, use the grounding washer included in the package and make sure that the washer fits and presses against the bracket. Alternatively, use a copper grounding wire to connect the system, making sure that the bracket is properly grounded, or ground it by connecting the opposite PT cable to ground, on the bus to the ground rail. When connecting the bus cable, connect the microinverter branch cable and the bus cable in sequence, and confirm termination by listening for the clicking sound. If you need to disconnect the branch cable from the bus cable, use the bus cable unlocking tool to unlock it. For Y branches that are empty, use a bus cable cap to seal the port to the used one, and use an end cap to seal the end of the bus cable. After installing the microinverter, remove the serial number labels and affix them to both the module frame and the array map diagram. This will help to indicate which microinverters are connected to the corresponding modules. When connecting on the DC side, do not connect DC cables from the same module to different channels of the inverter. When the microinverter is first powered up on the DC side, the LED light will flash green several times, indicating that the inverter is starting up. For different designs, use DC extension cables of different lengths. If there is an unused channel on the microinverter, use a DCC female connector cap for protection. 
The EQ is a state-of-the-art communication unit of the app system that is used to collect various microinverter performance data and monitor system operation in real time. Install the EQ indoors, preferably near a window. After completing the grid connection, use the EMA Manager application to register and commission your system. Scan the inverter codes in the matrix map diagram and later synchronize them with the QS. Then close the PV circuit breaker. At this point, the array will generate electricity and each microinverter will communicate with the QS and its LED light will flash green every 5 seconds. If the product needs to be replaced, first disconnect the circuit breaker from the PV. Then disconnect the connection between the microinverter and the bus cable and then the PV module. Always in that order, and then replace the product. During system operation, the microinverter's built-in wireless communication module emits signals that communicate with the QS. Users can access real-time and historical system power generation data anytime, anywhere via a mobile phone or computer interface and view the power generation status of each module on the AP Systems page. AP Systems bring simpler and smarter solar energy everywhere. So much for today's video with App Systems Microinverters. We hope you found it useful and if you want to know more, look for us at almacanphotovoltaico.com. Visit us at almacanphotovoltaico.com and if you are a professional, enjoy special prices on all your orders, we are waiting for you.